Chris Shays over the weekend, Trump said that he and Kim Jong-un fell in love because of the beautiful letters Kim had written him. What do you make of that, Chris Shays? Well, you know, uh, Chris and I agree on so many things. I don't know if he'll agree on this one, but the bottom line is Trump likes anyone who likes him. Uh, and if you flatter him, <laughs> then he likes you. Uh, but, but having said that, whatever it takes to get um, North Korea to move in a different direction, I support. And Chris Liu, what do you make of the Korean situation? Yeah, you know, I'll continue to agree with Cogsman Shays on this. I mean, I think, let, let's just take a step back. Kim Jong-un is one of the uh, world's most ruthless dictators. He has starved his people. He is developing nuclear capabilities that could strike the United States. Uh, he is a dangerous actor. And yes, engagement with him is a good thing. Uh, and, but I, I think, you know, the, the president unfortunately kind of oscillates between uh, threatening nuclear war and embracing dictators. Uh, I'd like to think, or I ho I'm hoping that this is just imprecise language on his part, uh, but let's not forget the real threat that North Korea poses. And following the summit in Singapore, uh, we've yet to see a lot of tangible progress uh, made on some of the commitments that were announced at that time. Chris can, can you allow me the opportunity to, to agree with Chris since he's been so generous the other way? <laughs> I totally agree with him. 